Yo, what's the plan? Devil next cut back and today we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I know that's a dusty fingerprint of phone. Excuse that. Huge shout out to Samsung Caribbean for just hooking up this device for me to give you all my thoughts on it and just let you know if you should buy it or not. But today, I'm using the phone for like three or four days. So far, okay, hold on. I'm talking real fast. <clears throat> so, I'm using the phone for like three or four days so far. So I thought it was like a good amount of time to give you like some of my favorite features about the device. So today we're talking about my five favorite features of the Note 9 and just some general impressions here and there. So first of all, uh, build quality on point. Like once you hold the device, you feel that heft, you feel it in your hand, aluminum, glass. It just feels real premium in the hand. Second favorite feature about this device is the fact that it keeps the headphone jack. I know it's a sad thing that there's a feature, but we in the end of 2018 and that's now a feature, so it's one of my favorite features, I do care. If you're somebody who loves to listen to music and you kind of hate the trend that 3.5mm headphone jacks was disappearing all over the place, then you should be happy this device lets you keep your 3.5mm headphone jack, so plug in all your headphones and use it as much as you like. And of course, we car bypass the screen. Samsung devices, ju just Samsung in general, makes the absolute best displays on any smartphone. Nobody could fight me down on that, actually. You could fight me down on it, but you'll be wrong, so just don't even bother to try. And the screen on point, if you like to consume media, then you will love this phone. It's a big, gigantic screen, very saturated colors, very high quality, and you will love it for media consumption. Next favorite thing about the Note 9 is the cameras on the back. But before we get to that, one thing you should keep in mind is the placement of the fingerprint sensor relative to where the actual camera sensor is. So it's very easy to miss the fingerprint sensor and hit the camera with your finger and you'll just slide your finger back down and hit the fingerprint sensor and you're cool. But then when you go to take a picture, you need to wipe your camera again. So just keep that in mind. But the cameras on this device just nothing short of amazing. In low light, in bad lighting, in horrible lighting, in bad backlit areas you still get a very much usable photo in daylight in normal nighttime shots very 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 good quality dynamic range on point it actually blew my iphone 10 camera out of the water in terms of colors and dynamic range and sharpness this camera is this this is hands down one of the best cameras i ever use on a smartphone the next feature we need to talk about specific to the note line we couldn't talk about a note device without talking about this the S Pen. So first of all, the S Pen have an all new pop of color. So I have the blue Note 9 right now. The S Pen is yellow. And one thing, I don't even know if it, I can't remember if it did this in the Note 8, but when you write on the display, it have like a, a sound effect, like if a pencil writing on paper. And it's so pleasing. I don't know if you can hear it right now. Try, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you can hear that. It's so pleasing, almost as pleasing as this. Yeah, as somebody who loves to fidget a lot on this, this this is heaven for me right now whoever thought about putting this is a genius like like wow so of course the s pen does everything that it used to on the entire note line before everything you know and love uh cool yourself cool yourself stop telling me put back the s pen inside but one thing that makes this one stand out is the fact that it's the first one that supports bluetooth which means you could use it as a remote shutter for your camera so you know all those times when you're trying to stretch your hand real far out to try and take a selfie with everybody in it now you can just rest down your phone step back with the entire group and use this as a remote shutter to take the photo which is amazing like i say i only using the phone for three or four days so i didn't dig up in it too much but that is one feature that they should definitely make a note of so that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching huge shout out again to samsung caribbean for hooking up this device for me to review if you have any other questions about it feel free to hit me up on instagram at devonxcut just ask me anything you need to know over there and i'll try to reply as soon as possible that's like my most active social media right now instagram follow me at devonxcut thanks so much i'll see you all in the next one